In this video, I'm going to show you how to subdivide your 3D object. So in order to do this, you want to make sure that you have the full object selected. And you can ensure that by at the very top left hand corner that the hexagon is the one that is completely orange, that you don't have the faces, the edges or the vertices selected, but the whole object. Over on the right hand side of the panel, so the panel that starts with the gear up at the top and ends with the trash can, you are going to select the one, two, three, four, fifth icon down, which is going to be your subdivide. Now, I will say this, when you click on the subdivide or any of these options, it's automatically going to take that action. It's not as if you can click on it and see what it is and then decide to take the action. It is going to take that action. So uh, the fifth one down kind of looks like a bullseye target. That is going to be your subdivide. Go ahead and click on that and it will automatically apply the subdivide modifier. You'll then be seeing it with the subdivisions and it will give it automatically a subdivision of one. So you can make some adjustments to that subdivision. Down in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to have a little menu and there's actually two ways that you can kind of get to this. You can double tap on your icon, I'm not your icon, but your 3D object in the scene and it will automatically pull over this panel to the right that gives you some different options and you will see underneath modifiers your subdivision modifier it's actually made it a level two if i want to bump this up i can bump it up to three you can rotate around your object to see if there's any artifacting or how you want things to be done additionally when i add a subdivision modifier i also like to shade smooth so you'll see that under the display options click on shade smooth and then you can rotate your canvas and see how that has changed your object. You also have some different schemes. You got cat mark or you have bilinear, depending on how you want to look at it. So bilinear, I'm going back to what it looked like before when I was just simply um, doing you know, some, some um, basically polygon modeling. And then changing it back to cat mark is going to give me it the way that I want to. The boundaries are automatically on edges and corners. You can do it just on edges. You can do it on none. It depends on your object that you are subdividing, whether you will see any differences in those. You can continue to work on your object like this, but if you want to go ahead and apply your subdivision, you can definitely do that. Once you apply your subdivision, however, you will not be able to get back in to make those edits as we were uh, in like how we were in bilinear view so once you go ahead and apply that it will apply your subdivision and now you can tell the resolution and how it was subdivided